My name is Sarah Harris and I believe in the expanding role of broadband in libraries. I would say the broadband has rejuvenated libraries for sure. If Reagan County didn't have internet, I probably wouldn't come to the library. Contrary to thought patterns of the past that it would annihilate libraries, it has made libraries more vital to the community. We went from averaging 35 people a day before we had broadband access in the computers to 85 people a day. I don't have broadband at home because it's uh, really pretty expensive out in this area. We have a unique situation because our community is really isolated and our library is a K-12 library that is also a community library. So we serve the needs of everything from the pre-kinder student who comes in with their class for story time all the way to the community patron who comes in to use the internet for personal and business. We have from little kids to senior citizens come in here daily. The one group that I, I always lost before was the middle school boy. I lost him the minute he entered middle school. He never came back to the library until he became an adult. And he's back in the library in droves. <laughs> Broadband is a wonderful equalizer. People of all ages, people of all generations, people of all ethnic groups, we have people that have master's and doctorate degrees that are sitting right beside a first grader using the internet. We have pilots that come and they fly in and they will get on. As a pilot, you're required to get the latest information regarding the place that you're going. If I don't have broadband internet available to me, then I can't legally fly. Because they have free wireless internet, I'm able to use my laptop in, in the library as well as at home. Well, it's a lot quieter here than it is in my place. So It's nice to be able to come to the library here and use the broadband network to be able to look at pictures of my grandchildren and things like that, which I normally wouldn't be able to do here in town. It's uh, extremely important to be able to access it for me because I would be completely cut off otherwise. The broadband brought them in and then I got them in here and they began to see we had other things to offer. They'll pick up a book, they'll pick up a DVD, then we become a vital part. They find out we do faxes, we do copying. Uh, we are actually a mini office in here. They come in here asking if um, we have internet, how much we charge, and we don't charge. Everything we have here is free. I don't know where we would be. They really need us. Broadband internet has expanded the role that the library plays in our community. The main thing is, is the broadband here. You know, I mean, that's what we look for. This is the only thing we got going for our, for our, for our you know, community here, you know? My name is Simon, and broadband gives my community a chance to succeed. Government entities closing down their offices and taking them out of small communities, and they'll say, go to your public library. You know, when they tell them they don't have a computer, they'll say, go to your public, public library because they can help you. Some are brand new users with brand new laptops, so I've had my skills stretched. There's many sites nowadays that you can only apply online. Uh, Texas Parks and Wildlife is one of them. A lot of people think all we do is have children up here on the, on the computers and pass out books to people, but we do a lot more. Everything is about speed. Everything, is, everything needs, is, if you don't go along with the times, if you don't have the broadband, high-speed internet access, you fall behind. Yeah, it would be hard because you're so used to it that you take it for granted and that, um, you know, then all of a sudden, bam, it ain't there. You know, you, well, why ain't it? <laughs> Libraries, as they are notorious for being on the cutting edge, they provide a service for the community that nothing, no other entity in that community provides for, for their patrons. They can still stay in their small community and have those things available to them, and the library is part of that. If this library didn't have broadband, there's a lot of services I truly believe that we wouldn't be able to offer. We all want educated voters, people that know how to be good citizens, and without that information it cuts people off from a lot of opportunities and I think does a lot of harm in our communities. If we don't provide what our community, what our patrons need, libraries run the risk of becoming obsolete. It not only helps our economy in our state and our city um, and our town, it it makes it more vivacious. Our access to the world in rural communities is through the broadband system. Broadband internet access is important.
important for any library in the United States to have. I could not imagine life without access to broadband here at the library. It has opened up a new world for our children. I couldn't imagine my community without broadband.